Hello everyone, it's me, Jessie, a chocoholic in Japan, and today we are going to be accompanied by Yasmin Munoz and her cousin Olive Munoz in Oasis Spring, particularly in this lot, because you know, we can. Okay. The new expansion pack, Snowy Escape, is coming soon on November 13th, and I figured, let me give you the exact opposite of that and renovate a home intended for the 100 baby challenge in a very hot, deserty world that honestly is a big fat move for how this year has come to fruition or lack thereof. You can take it either way. This guy over here on the sidewalk knows what I'm talking about. Look at him. Mm-hmm. He knows. So here is the house that we're going to be renovating. This is what it looks like in your game. This is a base game house. Uh, it's very simple. It's very blue. The main area here, it has a lot of blues, some aquas or green, whichever way you want to call it. It's very spacious. It has a full-on kitchen with dim lighting because, you know, setting the mood. It also has a full bathroom and that toilet paper up there as is at the exact spatial ratio that we like in real life compared to the toilet. There is a bedroom here with a lot of blues and greens. I don't know, it's simple, it's spacious. And then it has this like kind of poopy brown green kids room, which I don't know, you take it as it is. I personally don't really like it that much. And then there's this blue room that I suppose is just a study room. And this is what it looks like from the top. And over there, you can see the backyard. There's not much to it. I didn't really show it because, you know, it, it is what it is. Okay, so let's start this renovation. So for this build, I originally thought that this was going to be a renovation build. That's why you see me carefully deciding what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. And also starting by putting lights on the ceiling because I always do that. You need to see what's going on. You can't just renovate in the dark, you know? <laughs> But then I thought this would be the perfect area and the chance for me to try making a build for the 100 baby challenge. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, or if you don't know what Twitch is, it is a streaming platform. You watch people play games or do other things. It, and once I explain it out loud, it doesn't sound as fun, but trust me, it's, it's a lot of fun. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, 9.30 slash 10 a.m. Japan Standard Time. Anyway, my point is, is that I started streaming the 100 Baby Challenge, and my sim, my matriarch, she lives in San Maishuno in a flat that has a lot of issues, and even in the description they said, Maybe there's a reason why this place is so cheap, and now I know why. <laughs> because in that particular apartment, uh, it, it's not in the worst area of San Maishino, and it's not in the most expensive, it's kind of in the middle. It's by where all the festivals happen, but there are leaky pipes, there are... We have some friendly pets, they're free pets, we have rats coming in from time to time. Uh, we also have some lovely cockroaches visiting us too and then there's this fuse box that tends to break a lot and there's also this other surprise that if you haven't played in Samai Shuno I'm not going to spoil it for you so I figured I think we need to move out of this flat at some point or other and I kind of want to do it now rather than too late you know so I started to renovate this lot in particular and Oh, before I forget this, I do try to make these look like they are part of the world. So I do use the plants and the flowers that are surrounding the lot so that it makes it look like it's part of the world rather than just some like random house that you just downloaded and put on this lot and looks like totally, totally random. <laughs> but this, I was just trying to make it for that 100 baby challenge. And I just started 
we only have two children they are both daughters and we have the third baby in the oven as we speak uh, but i figured let me try making a house so again i'm going for the modern look because that's just what i really like i tried to limit the packs so you're seeing a lot of wallpapers floorings and other textiles from eco lifestyle as well as seasons i believe and the only thing i use for city living i think is those closets but i do try to make the matriarch's bedroom and then so that's what you're seeing here now with the lovely windows <laughs> and she even has her own fireplace i mean oh my goodness talk about getting ready for business uh, and then I also try to make a spacious kitchen because I feel like they drop their plates and put them everywhere and this is starting to get just a, a tad bit annoying. So I thought that perhaps having a lot of kitchen counters might help with that. Um, and of course I go crazy with windows because I just, I like windows. Don't hate me for it. I just, I really like the open space. It's called selective realism. <laughs> I choose to have a many open windows. And uh, in this central place, honestly, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just figured let's keep it simple. Let's have a fireplace. Let's have some seatings, music, and a couple of skill items that they can use on their free time, like toys, and I also add in a crafts table for kids and as well as the toy box for them too. And then I move on to the bedrooms. So I do separate the toddlers from the kids slash teens simply because their beds are bigger. And I also don't want them to disturb each other. And I do make sure to add that little light in each of the rooms so that they don't wake up from nightmares and whatnot um and i also don't give them the best beds either because i want them to sleep as long as possible <laughs> i also put some potties in the room because they might wake up uh wanting to tinkle and i do put some toys in there as well at least for the younger kids so that they have something to do and not have to bother the mother <laughs> Uh, so yeah, give the kids and the toddlers and the babies like the crappiest beds and then give the mom the best bed because she needs her sleep. She needs her beauty sleep. She is working all the time. <laughs> she is tired all the time. So, you know, give her the best bed. That is what I am learning from this challenge. <laughs> it's also a very stressful challenge. I don't know why I started, but it's fun too. Uh, so anyway, I do add a skill room here that has the lab table and a couple of computers. And this is actually based on the computer lab that was in my uni because they had these open doors and glass, I don't know, like glass wall. So you can see everything that's going on inside. It feels like a different space. And it is technically, but you can see everything. So that's kind of what it's based off of. As for the bathrooms, I honestly don't know what I was doing. And I may have to revisit these because now that the new pack of Snowy Escape is coming, we're going to get platforms. I'm so excited. You cannot imagine how excited I am. I live in Japan. I have often and have for a long time wanted kotatsu in my real life and just the other type of decorative items too just uh, i need it I, I need it right now so i may revisit this i think during the let's play but for now i think it's a pretty good build it's minimal colors so everything is very 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 matchy matchy uh, I'm starting to use a lot of grass on the roof area. I don't know. I just, I think it's cool. <laughs> like who doesn't want to go grass on their roof? And I mean, come on, like when it rains, psh, like why not? 
right? <laughs> uh, and then I do add that, like, I guess, balcony area on the outside and add some foliage and some flowers that you already see around the lot here. I do add a barbecue and like a picnic table so at least they can hang around outside. And then I do add some finishing touches here and there. These are the lot traits that I'm giving it so that it kind of helps out with the 100 baby challenge. And I'm also testing out the build as I go along. I'm also a, I don't know, I just, I love lighting in the game. I'm a sucker for lighting, so I do that too. But anyway, in the gallery, you can see this as Vista Bebe Cori 100. Uh, so I do keep most of the original name for this lot. It is a renovation per se. It just doesn't look anything like the original, which I was kind of hoping. Uh, so again, it's child's play. It also has good schools, so it should help them with their homework and grades. And it's also a home studio, so if you're painting, writing, woodworking, or doing some other creative things, I wonder if this affects Nifty Knitting. It has that. And these are the particular packs that I use for this build. And if you want to know the specific items that you use for a build from a pack, you just click on the icon here. So for example, seasons, right? Or city living. You wanna know what I use for city living? Click on the city living icon, then go to the right side here and click on that button that says show used items. And then it'll literally show you all the items used from that pack. So again, click on the icon. So for example, get together. What am I using for get together? Click on the icon, then click on show used items on the right side. And there you go. It will show you the items that I used, which is literally only the closet. <laughs> so if you don't have to get together and you're worried about downloading this build, you're not gonna miss much. So same thing with laundry day stuff. Click on the laundry day stuff icon Go to the right side and click this button called show used items and there you go those are the five items <laughs> that i use from that stuff pack so again if you don't have all the packs for a particular build this is how you can check what people are using from particular packs also this is my matriarch i am calling her guadalupe bebe I was trying to make her Guadalupe Bish, but you know, it's, I can't upload that to the gallery because of obvious reasons. But here she is, Guadalupe in all of her glory. She's beautiful and you can join me on Twitch if you want to, to watch all this madness and see me very, very stressed. <laughs> but here's the final build. I think it's very lovely. Uh, I really want to move in here on the other hand, I don't have much money. Our matriarch is living right now with, I think, 14 simoleons. <laughs> so we, re we really don't have much, but this is definitely a house that I want our matriarch to move in once we have enough money to go in here. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe later, but it is very pretty. There are a lot of spaces to sit. There are a lot of things for them to do and uh i i don't know if this is the most busiest area of this world but uh we are going to go baby daddy hunting and they can use our barbecue too they can use our computers too if they want to because you know we're we're very busy women we have things to do we have children to take care of also this is my favorite bedroom thus far and i'm just showing you the living room many times because i just think it's really pretty it doesn't actually have many things but somehow because of the textures of the walls and the floors and the items it makes it look like there's a lot going on you know so you don't always need to clutter it up with items i personally am not a clutter person so you're not going to see much clutter in my builds 
you're just going to see all that busyness coming from again like i said the textures and what is there so for example the bathrooms and the bedrooms not many colors but lots of textures so it feels like there's a lot going on you know i'm just saying uh, in any case, I think that's all I can really ramble on about for now. Uh, but if you like this video, thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you like it by clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a comment, subscribing, whatever it may be. I don't know, you just, you do you. And in any case, I'm always appreciative of you coming over here and seeing the stuff that I make. Uh, and as always, I will see you next time. Ciao.